Good morning, let's see what we have for GOK. Uh, well, this is the whole history chart. Uh, Nick Knights said this was a recent IPO, uh, but no, this is an old company in the market. It just made, uh, it just sold more, more 4.5 million shares recently. Let's check. Uh, here's the medium term chart. This was the IPO day. <laughs> Not really an IPO, the company went from from the OTCBB to the Amex and Amex I believe, let me check it three here in a moment G OK yes at the Amex and so not, not really an IPO but uh, another public offering and over the short term this chart is not updated the stock today is, let me check here well, this is going to take a while. It was down about 1% yesterday. And, uh, well, there wasn't any liquidity prior to this, and now there's some more, but still very low liquidity. And fundamentally, I can't uh, derive my, f my valuation model to this company because, well, revenues are going up, as you can see here. Uh, but uh, the company is w losing more money as revenues go up. Uh, so, on a pro forma, on a pro forma basis, it lost 10.4 million dollars in 2006, one dollar and five cents per share, and the number of shares outstanding keeps rising. Look here, it was 1.9 million in 2004, 2.18 million in 05, 5.4 million in 06, and now there are more than 10 million shares outstanding. And fully diluted, I, I believe there there are more than 14 million shares. Uh, so this is a money losing proposition that uh, keeps diluting shareholders' value. I don't see any interest in the in this stock. Very very low liquidity too. So uh, maybe I'm wrong. I'm not seeing this deep enough. But at first sight, I, I don't like it. So on a one to ten scale, I give it a, a three. Thanks. Bye.